Uh, you know what? Just uh, real proud of our guys. You know, we didn't have the, the ultimate result that we wanted here tonight, but uh, just like we've done all year, I tell you, our, our guys really fought. They uh, they fought. We got down 20. We cut it to nine. Got down 19. Cut it to nine again, and just kept fighting. Just kept playing as hard as we could, having great belief, doing the things that you you need to do this time of year. Um, to, to keep extending your season, and I thought our guys did that. And for that, I'm really proud of them and the momentum that they, they gained, you know, going into our, their personal lives, okay? That shows a lot of character. It shows a lot of fight when you do that because not everybody this day and age does it. And so all of our teams, especially these two guys to my right, they did a phenomenal job in doing that stuff. So I'm really, I'm really proud of our team. I'm proud of our growth that we've made. Um, you know, these, these two guys being here that have really improved as individual players over the past two years. Their leadership's improved. Uh, their work ethics have, have been phenomenal. Can't tell you a bad day that either of them have had. And uh, that's why we had the season that we did. I thought we had a really good season. We made great growth with our program, and uh, we're excited about what that means for the future. Uh, I say performance was good personally, but as a team, we could have came out better. I uh, wasn't really worried about my personal performance. When, it, when I, we fight for our lives in the last game, it's either do or die. So I really wasn't worried about getting mine or any of that. We just had to, had to make the right plays for our team to get a win. We got down early. We had to fight back. You know, we had to find a way. meant everything to me. I, I grew up a lot these past two years. Uh, I want to thank more at State and Coach Preston and the staff and, and my teammates for having my back and believing in me and just putting me in the best position to be successful. Yeah, you know, uh, we had a really difficult non-conference schedule, and uh, but you know what, we, I think that the, your attitude and your perception with those things are what define you. And so, going into the year as a staff, we really talked about how we were going to handle that, how we were going to handle these the long road swings and the trips, and how we were going to spin it to where it's it is going to prepare our guys. And thankfully, they bought into that. They bought into it, and. Uh, they believed, and uh, they really stuck together. And, and we talked about that all the time. We broke a lot of huddles and said the word together a lot. Uh, but they really did it. They really did it. And the result is, you know, having the season that we did, having the turnaround despite uh, getting down. I mean, we had a bunch of comebacks to this year. A bunch of them ended up being comeback wins. We had a bunch of valiant efforts by individuals. We had uh, a lot of close wins. You know, last year we were sitting at home talking about how many close losses we had. All right, so this year we turned those into close wins, and that's, that's something to be really proud of, and it's something that these guys deserve credit for. I mean, it, that's all them doing that, and just, you know, coming in, they do what we ask them to do. They give maximum effort. Their attitudes are great, and um, the result is a, a season, just like you said, a season to be proud of. Jordan, you got to feel really good about the foundation that's been laid because uh, you guys made a big jump this year, and you got to expect a jump again next year. Yeah, this is a... Uh, a resilient group of men that we have. We wasn't worried about um, being the last in the conference. We had a chip on our shoulder every time we came and I stepped on the court, and we tried to show what we can do. So the season didn't go high we wanted, but we sh we opened a lot of eyes and we we really shocked a lot of people. When you talk about the foundation, I mean, you know, AJ and Lamont are a huge part of that huge part. I mean, they, they, they set the tone for how you come in and you work and you go about your business every day. And, you know, I didn't realize that, Ted. I mean, second most assist in a single season in Moorhead State history. There have been a lot of good players come through our program long before any of us have been here. And that's a heck of a stat. That's a big-time stat coming in and, 
and uh, doing that and playing unselfish and just uh, making everybody around you better. I mean, that's big time. That's big time. You know, AJ had uh, he's he's our <clears throat> he's our all time leader in, in steals for a game. Okay, he uh, he's had tons of games this year. We had back to back games with 11 assists. Uh, huge huge wins for us. He had. Um, you know, back-to-back -back games here in the OBC tournament with nine assists. I mean, that, those are big numbers. Those are big numbers. They lead to a lot of, a lot of positivity on the court. And so, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna miss that. There's no doubt about it. We're gonna really miss it. And, uh, you know, I, AJ AJ really put in a lot of work. I mean, he's in the gym late at night, as all of our guys are. But uh, he's there before practice, getting work in and doing all that kind of stuff. And uh, the result is a really good senior year that you take back and you, you'd be proud of.